In this tutorial, we are going to check if uh, the vector field f, which is equals to x squared y i plus x y z j minus x squared y squared k is conservative. So given uh, that vector field, to check if it is conservative, we have to evaluate its scale and check if the scale is equals to the zero vector. If it is equals to the zero vector, then the vector field is uh, conservative. But if it is not equal to the zero vector, then the vector field will not be conservative. So given any vector field f, the k of f is a grad cross f. Where grad there is the partial derivative with respect to xi, plus the partial derivative with respect to yj, plus the partial derivative with respect to zk. So for us to evaluate the k, we evaluate the 3 by 3 determinant, which has the first row as i, j, k. The second row, the partial derivative with respect to x, the partial derivative with respect to y, and the partial derivative with respect to z. The third row is the elements of the vector field f, x squared y, x y z, minus x squared y squared. And the next step now is to evaluate that determinant and we are going to use uh, the first row to evaluate uh, that uh, given determinant. So we look at the first element of uh, that uh, row and you see it's an i. So we close the row and column with the i. And when you are looking at uh, the array of positive, negative, positive, negative, the i there is sitting on a positive. Then we take uh, the determinant of uh, the uncovered elements that is uh, the partial derivative with respect to y of minus x squared y squared then minus the partial derivative with respect to z of x y z so we write for the i there we have the partial derivative with respect to y of minus x squared y squared minus the partial derivative with respect to z of x y z i we now move on to the next element, which is the j. We close the row and the column containing the j. When you are looking at the array of positive negative, the j there is sitting on a negative. Then go on and take out the determinant of the uncovered elements. Partial derivative with respect to x of minus x squared y squared minus the partial derivative with respect to z of x squared y. As you said, the j is sitting on a negative there, so we would have minus the partial derivative with respect to x of minus x squared y squared minus the partial derivative with respect to z of x squared y j. We now move on to the next element, which is the k. We close the row and the column containing the k. In terms of the arrays, the k is sitting on a positive go on and take the determinant of the uncovered elements, the partial derivative with respect to x of x, y, z, minus the partial derivative with respect to y of x squared y. For the k there, we say it's only positive, so we def plus the partial derivative with respect to x of x, y, z, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of x squared y, k. So we are done with that part. We now go on and evaluate those partial derivatives. So looking at the first one, we have the i there. We have uh, the partial derivative with respect to y of minus x squared y squared. We are differentiating that y squared with respect to y, but the x we are treating it as a constant. So we get the derivative of a y squared is 2y, then multiplied by the x squared minus 2x squared y. The derivative with respect to z there, treating uh, x and y as if they are constants. So on that partial derivative with respect to z, we get uh, the result as uh, x, y. For the highlighted part there, it will be minus uh, 2x squared y minus x, y, i. Going on to the part where we have the j there, the partial derivative with respect to x of minus x squared y squared is minus 2xy squared. And the partial derivative with respect to z of x squared y 
it's a zero since we'll be taking x and y to be constants. So for that part, it gives us minus minus 2xy squared minus 0j. We move on to the next part where we have the k there. K, we are looking at uh, the partial derivative with respect to x of x, y, z. We are treating y and z as constants, so that derivative would give us a uh, yz since the partial derivative of x with respect to x is a 1 so we would have a yz there for the first one then the partial derivative with respect to y we are treating x as if it's a constant so that part will give us minus x squared yz minus x squared k the thing there is uh, the k of uh, the vector field f is minus 2x squared y minus xyi minus minus 2xy squared minus 0j z minus x squared k. So there that we are having is uh, not equal to 0. It is not equal to 0 and then that given vector field is uh, not conservative because we only say a vector is conservative if its k is a zero. Any questions? You can let me know in the comment section.